Welcome Taurus to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 23rd of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now as this week begins there's a beautiful trine between your ruler Venus and Jupiter. These are the two planets of fortune. In a trine this is the first time this has happened this year. So this really can be very enabling. Venus may be technically not at its best it's in its fall in Virgo but for you this is the fifth house this is where you can really sparkle in terms of your social interactions and having Jupiter despite its retrograde in your sign can give you just a little bit more self-belief around your appearance you may decide to invest some money in terms of a makeover uh, some new clothes refresh your wardrobe in some way but this can be lucky but also it's accompanied by the arrival of Mercury, the planet of commu communication in your seventh house. Now Mercury has been in uh, the sign of uh, Libra more recently, which for you may have actually created some brittle interactions. Maybe things have been a bit tense and picky between you and somebody. Little irritating details may have got on your nerves a little bit. But the Sun joins up with Mercury and also with the passionate Mars in the sign of Scorpio on Monday. So Monday's quite the day because uh, Mars uh, is obviously quite a robust influence, but Mercury is much more to do with uh, the conversation and relating to people and the sun's about our core desire so whatever your relationship status I feel that you have an opportunity over the next four weeks and indeed even over the next six months on the back of the lunar eclipse in your sign which happens towards the end of this week on Saturday because you're going to become much more conscious of your desire to set your boundaries in a way which gains you respect, appreciation. Now, if you also reach that sweet spot between a give and take in a close personal relationship, which is very respectful but reciprocated, that's absolutely fabulous. But if you would like to bring someone into your life, I feel that you can really start to manifest that over this next four weeks. But there are some potential gotchas because the arrival of the sun immediately joins up with Mercury and I feel that that actually can trigger conversations and Mercury in the seventh house is more detached it doesn't take things so personally but the sun being in the seventh house is much more to do with desire particularly in the sign of Scorpio but having Mars there is more complex because Mars can be quite thrusting people who have Mars in their seventh house of their natal charts often um, can be a bit abrasive when it comes to their connections to others. The seventh house or descendant is where we connect with people. So that's an interesting one, but you can use that as an asset because I feel it's going to encourage you not to accept second best. So whether it's in work relationships, the family, your friendships, or potentially in the romantic dimension, I think Mars is saying to you through this particular lunation, look, don't uh, give away your power too easily. But Mercury saying it's important to try to listen, interact with people skillfully. And the sun is basically evoking those core desires. But because Mars is in an opposition with Jupiter in your sign, that's a very earnest energy. It can actually give us a lot more uh, sense of self-belief that we can push ourselves to move out of our comfort zone and that alone can trigger some good fortune but also Mars and Mercury align as this week goes on and that could see you finding a nice balance between articulating your viewpoint but saying it with a degree of thrust that people take it seriously but that brings us to the eclipse. So the eclipse really if you're in a particularly a romantic relationship which is not going very well I feel this really is asking some serious questions because the solar eclipse which occurred on the 14th was much more practical this is much more about getting that sweet spot in the give and take and if it is to do with things like another person not being very supportive or acknowledging 
or even not very invested in terms of the everyday domestic chores, doesn't uh, do those things that are practically appreciated by an earth sign like you, that can make you think again. But that could be true of a colleague or a friendship as much as a, a lover. But I feel that if you are wanting to bring someone into your world, don't be surprised if over the next half year that you did sort of stumble into a connection with someone in quite an ordinary situation. Now, obviously, uh, we could come up with things like the supermarket queue, waiting at the bus stop, uh, just chatting to someone at work in an informal way, and that helps you to build up some kind of dialogue without there being a particular pressure. But it could be quite surprising uh, the way that you do meet someone. It could even be at a fitness club, a swimming pool, somewhere where you're working on your health or fitness may feed into improving your relationships to others. I also feel that a colleague could become much more important to you over the next half year, but not necessarily in a romantic dimension. So I feel that Mars is saying, look, this is my minimum standard and I'm not going to give on that. Good for you. I feel Jupiter saying, go on, I am in a retrograde, but I can be lucky for you, particularly in that link with Venus. And because you can be so sensuously charming and seductive, you have a great opportunity with those two linking together at the start of the week to uh, use uh, your uh, guile and... Um, your coquettishness to bring someone into a greater awareness of who you are so your sensuality can be uh, topped up but I think Mercury wants the conversation and the Sun is about the impulse so I think there's a lot of energy potentially a lot of excitement this week but it's pushing you not to accept bound relationships and to have uh, those standards about what is acceptable to you or not but it's also giving you a lot of desire to attract something quite amazing to you in the weeks and months to come.